Hey, True Believers, England team here. So, okay, Hall H, San Diego Comic-Con's coming up, and we're going to learn a lot more. We're going to get some previews of uh, Aquaman. We're going to learn more about Shazam, I'm sure. And it really feels like they've been just leaking a little bit of information here and there just to get us excited. And I have to admit, it's been working. I love the idea of what they're doing with the Captain Marvel movie. Yes, the real Captain Marvel. I know legally we have to call it Shazam, but damn, it's the original Captain Marvel. I like this. I like this take because he is a kid trapped in a man's body. If they want to make a family-style comedy out of it, I'm very happy with that decision. I've been saying superhero movies need to change genres in order to survive for a long time now, and this is just one way they can do it. So I'm in. Of course, I've... I don't know if that's exactly high praise. I said I'm a whore for the superhero films anyway. But come on. Look at that. Dr. Savannah. It just looks so cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm way into this kind of thing. And I do like the direction I'm seeing for the Captain Marvel movie. Of course, you never know until you're actually sitting in the theater watching it. They can even make a preview look excellent to a movie that's enjoyable but bad like Suicide Squad. <laughs> that was an awesome preview. Anyway, one thing also that uh, I found interesting in all of this leaked information and everything was to find exactly how connected, because they said they weren't going to make them connected as, uh, as Marvel was, but they're going to be standalone films in a connected universe. And it was kind of interesting because we got one photo that really does spell out exactly how connected the universe is. And a lot of information is given right here in this picture of Asher Angel as Billy Batson and Jack Dylan Glazer as Freddie Freeman. What we're seeing, we see uh, Time Magazine. has got Act of War on its cover, and that's referencing the invasion from Man of Steel. We have a Batarang. Now, don't know if it's real or if it's a souvenir kind of thing. Uh, one thing to point out is that Batman was still kind of a legend. Like, you know, nobody actually knew he was real in Batman v Superman. That being said, after the Justice League and he fought uh, Steppenwolf beside Superman and everyone else, more than likely the truth has come out, and that's why we also see a Batman action figure and i i really like that so obviously this this is coming out uh at the time of justice league or or after justice league anyway because also there's a framed copy of the daily planet that says superman is back so it has to happen after that because that's when the daily planet would have picked up and they would have gone hey wait a second clark kent's alive again too maybe two and two equals four we don't know i don't know uh we do have a mingled bullet in a baggie that uh freddie's holding up accompanied by a certificate of authenticity a trinket salvaged following a confrontation between the Man of Steel and armed criminals and then sold to collectors. A lot of details here, including the magazine, the Time magazine, which shows that little uh, city destroyer that blows the ray down that turns Superman into Christopher Reeve. You know that one. Anyway, that's what that's from. So, yeah, a lot of, lot of little references here. Kind of dig it. And another two things we can gather from this picture especially from the fact that there is a hat with the movie symbol for the House of L, as well as a cup with the more classic Superman insignia. Freddie Freemore's a big Superman fan. And the other one, and that's just judging by the merchandise plus the Batman figure I mentioned before, obviously the Justice League saving the Russia town and uh, getting rid of uh, Steppenwolf, they've kind of become icons in this particular world. And that's all right. That pretty much helps out the fact that we've been hearing rumors that Henry Cavill is going to cameo in this movie in some way, shape or form. So I'm all excited about it. I'm excited about what I've seen so far and I'm excited to learn more. I really can't wait to see these movies. I believe this one comes out in April. Aquaman we saw from the poster comes out in December. It looks like it's going to be a good time for DC. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? What do you think of all the stuff you've seen from Shazam? I know some people are a little turned off because it looks like a little kiddish, 
But do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, you know the drill. Click like, share, subscribe. If you have subscribed, unsubscribe and subscribe again and hit the notification bell on and off again just to try to kick that into gear because YouTube's been messing up. Also, if you don't mind helping out this channel, go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, help us keep the lights on, helps keep making videos for you. Uh, YouTube's messing up, so that's the way that's the way to do it, really. Also, if you like theme parks, I've got another channel called Mad About the Mouse. Link's in the description below. I'd like to thank everybody who's checked that out and who has gone over to Patreon and uh, helped us out that way. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching. Hercules, hero of song and story. Hercules, winner of ancient glory. Fighting for the right, fighting with his might. With the strength of ten ordinary men. Hercules, people are safe when near him. Hercules. Only the evil fear him, softness in his eyes, iron in his thighs, virtue in his heart, fire in every part.